Good day, I'm Kubis Witt. This is my wife Stella. Uh, we would like to share with you what miracle God did in our lives. I was a keen runner and kite surfer, maar so seven jaar gelede het God kom ingryp in my lewe. Ek was by die werk en het een vreselike hoofdpijn ontwikkel. Dit het al erger geraak en ek het besluit nie ek moet terug aan huis toe. Ek het beswaarlik recht opgeblei op my scooter, daar in my huis gehaal en net op die naaste bed neergeslaan. At that time I called Kubis from my work and um, I could hear something terribly was wrong. He could hardly speak. So I hurried home and to see what was wrong and I found him on the bed. I thought it was a severe migraine that he had. So I dragged him off the bed and I dragged him to the car and I took him to hospital, to the emergency. I told the doctor there that Quibus has got a terrible migraine, but by that time he lost consciousness. So the doctor said, no, no, it's definitely not the migraine. They had to take a brain scan. So they did the brain scan and afterwards the neurosurgeon came to me and he, his news was devastating. He said, Quibus had a massive brain hemorrhage and uh, he did not think he would survive. So he said he would operate, but if he survived the operation, he would most probably be paralyzed or he would even just be like a vegetable. I couldn't grow, my brain couldn't grasp it. My, my brain didn't want to accept it. I could not imagine that my healthy, lively, active quibus could ever be paralyzed or even worse. So the doctor also said I should let the children come to say goodbye to their dad. But when my daughter arrived, she just said, no, dad will be fine, he will live. We just pray and we believe and we speak life. So that's what we did, we spoke life. Kubi survived the operation to the astonishment of the doctors. And then they kept him under sedation for about a week. The day they had to take him out of the coma, our son, Werner, he flew from, from London. He was next to the bed and when Kubis opened his eyes, he saw Werner and the first thing he said with difficulty and softly he said, London. So we knew and we realized if Kubis could make that connection, Werner is here next to his bed or Werner is here, why he should be in London then Kubis would be mentally fine. So we just cried and we were so happy and so relieved and we just praised the Lord. Yeah, the herstel process uh, was maar starig. Ek moes van vooraf leer loop. Uh, ek kon nie self eet nie. Uh, baie moeilik gepraat. Maar ek het net besef dat God het vir my tweede kans gegee op die lewe en ek moet die beste gebruik maak daarvan. Before his illness, our relationship went through tough times. We quarreled a lot and we differed on so many small, trivial things. But after his illness, we just realized how precious life is and how precious it was that we still had each other. So we grew a lot closer to each other and a lot closer to God and we made him king again in our relationship. Uh, six months later, I was back on my kite surfboard. Now I'm 72 and I'm still chasing the winds. All glory to God. All glory to God.